Hi, video two of the day. So uh, back to Quora, uh, another Quora inspired video and an answer by Grant Eaton. And the question is, how do narcissists respond to psychedelics? So, like, as I've said before, you know, narcissistic, narcissistic traits by themselves, um, a small amount, you know, can be useful. Unfortunately, if you have them to too large an extent, if you're too grandiose and you don't bear other people into account at all, then that can cause issues for those around you, especially. Um, and it may cause uh, problems for you eventually too, especially, you know, in the long term. But one thought I had, because I'd seen various articles about psychedelics and in particular um, psyobilin and um, magic mushroom specifically. So the question is, how do they respond to these kind of drugs? And what Mr. Eaton said is that they usually respond with resistance. So by fighting ego destruction and psychedelic information, which often exposes the false self and surfaces information that the narcissistic individual doesn't want to accept, that that individual is caught into a mental spin cycle and neither enjoys the experience nor nor do they um, gain, you know, anything from it. Um, so if you've got a very dramatic person and someone who's swinging like a circle of people around like a tail wagging a dog, so it's, it's all about them, it's all about their experience, their purge, whatever, their, their noise, their dramas, well this isn't going to help either um in as much as you know i thought hopefully there might be a drug which could help someone who is too extremely narcissistic um now the second method is sorry not method result possible result if someone takes these is amplification so Someone might take these and then they become enthralled by the ego gratification, the euph euphoria and the special powers that the psychedelics temporarily bestow upon you. Um, that you might become, that person might become a self-anointed urban shaman who believes that they alone uniquely possess the authority and gift to open the psychedelic door for other people. So that type of person holds an ego-driven space where the psychedelic is used to put on a sort of cosmic show whose real purpose is, you know, the, the glorification or the deification, the, them sort of presenting themselves as God. Um, so you know, a deification of, of their false self. So the, the narcissistic space holder doesn't, doesn't pay any authentication uh, attention to the well-being, intentional readiness of others and is, is really operating from a position of false humility. So it's kind of, this, this is, I'm just reading his response and it's very interesting from Mr. Eaton. Um, so he calls it uh, this false humility, covert spiritual narcissism or this sort of megalomaniac grandiosity. And then there are these sort of shamans and backyard enthusiasts who eventually fall into that category. So they, they, apparently the psychedelics, they often amplify the ego and they turn up the volume on the, on the character traits of whoever takes that medicine. So um, he, he concludes that there may be some people who respond in other ways, um, perhaps even becoming aware of some of their negative traits 
and you know working on improving themselves for the greater good um but um to my disappointment it seems that that isn't usually going to be the case so um you know to some of these people in my life who I thought mm, maybe you know if they they have a, a trip or something on some shrooms that it's gonna help um it seems that actually for this purpose it's not likely to actually solve the issues so there you go um i had the answer presented in cora and here you go i've just sort of presented it in another way to you um therefore with my current understanding of research into this it's looking fairly negative on that front that i'm going to be able to to help people with their their um their issues by you know suggesting they get a psycho psychedelic drug uh, trip but anyway there you go um what are your thoughts on this are you interested do you think do you have any experience of this do you know anyone like that who has taken these drugs and then got rid of their kind of bullying con controlling of others that kind of tend tendency because i'm not i'm not talking about someone who's like self-centered or you know um that kind of thing it's I'm, I'm really talking about the sort of more of the bullying controlling person and and whether that has been able to fix them at all and um, fix their issues for you um please you know like share subscribe um click the bell if you wouldn't mind if you like this kind of stuff um you know i do have quite a lot of experience with these kind of people so I've been trying as much as I can in my life to help um, and also I want to improve, improve myself but I'm trying to help improve some of these people who really uh, they won't be cured probably of some of their problems ever um, maybe you just really cannot cure yourself or other people completely maybe you just are what you are but um, I didn't want to give up without sort of turning over those things and having a look to see if there was anything else that I could do. But um, apparently, <laughs> with my limited abilities, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case this time. See you in the next one. Have a good Friday. Uh, what? <laughs> I say have a good Friday. No, it's not even Friday. It's not even... Wednesday, it's Tuesday. Have a good rest of Tuesday and see you in the next video. Ciao.